Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and we're here today with the Garmin Forerunner 645 Music. Uh, so this was announced at CES this last year when I was in Las Vegas. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing, give you guys my first thoughts and impressions. And then of course we will have uh, a full review of this product here in about the next 7 to 10 days or so. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what's inside the box. We'll just go ahead and open this up here. Okay, so the first thing that we're pulling out of the box here is the uh, charging cord, and it is a clip-on style charger. Let me see if I can get this opened up. So I don't love that. I think that's kind of a cheap design. I would much rather see something that's magnetic, um, but hey, it gets the job done. Uh, so we'll put that to the side. Not a big deal, but I, I don't get why Garmin continues to do these kind of weird clip-on chargers, but that's Garmin for you. So, okay, moving on inside the box, pulling out the rest of the contents here. Uh, we've got the Forerunner 645, and um, it is pretty tiny here from uh, all appearances. It appears to be about the same size as the Vivo Active. Um, the new Vivo Active 3. Uh, although rather than having a uh, one button configuration, we have a five button configuration that we've come to expect from a Forerunner device. Uh, because it does not have a touch screen, it will just use the buttons. So it does have like a little bit of a plastic film uh, protecting the screen there. And then you can see here it does have the uh, Elevate uh, optical heart rate sensor that Garmin has been using on most of their products now uh, for the last couple of years or so. And then it does have the uh, four pin connection there where this uh, attaches in order to charge. So you can kind of see how that works. I don't like that design. I don't like the idea of something clamping onto the side of my device in order to charge, but that's what Garmin's done here. Uh, in terms of uh, the rest of the band, you do have quick disconnect. Uh, watch straps. These are kind of the standard watch straps. I think these look almost identical to what came on the Vivo Active 3. So in terms of build quality here, uh, really it feels about the same as the Vivo Active 3. Maybe slightly heavier, um, but in terms of sizing, it's about the same size. Maybe just slightly thicker. Um, so you can kind of see what that looks like here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my wrist and give you my, kind of my first thoughts and impressions of what it feels like on my wrist. Now really the selling feature of this product is that it has built-in music storage and playback to Bluetooth headphones. It's kind of weird that Garmin is making such a big deal about that feature because that should kind of almost be a standard feature on anything now and Garmin's kind of making that the highlighted feature on this device, but it is what it is. Um, as you can see there, it looks great on the wrist. Um, I really like the way that it feels. It, it feels light um, and comfortable. The bands aren't too stiff. So my plan over the next 10 days or so is to put this through a wide variety of exercises. I'm going to take this jogging, I'm going to take it cycling, I'm going to take it swimming, uh, I'm going to even take this into the gym and do some boot camp, crossfit, and strength training style exercises to give you guys my opinion and perspective on this device. So stay tuned for that full review which should drop here in about 7 to 10 days. Thanks guys for watching, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent, we'll catch you next time.